Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Today, we will be discussing the different parts of the male reproductive system. You're likely to see at least one of these questions come up on your MCAT. Let's get into it. The male reproductive system is responsible for producing, storing, and transporting sperm. It is made up of a number of different organs and structures, including the testes, epididymis, fans deferens, seminal vesicles, prostate gland, penis, and more. To begin our discussion, we will first begin by exploring the anatomy by following the pathway sperm takes out of the male reproductive system. First, sperm comes from the testes, right here. The testes, also known as the testicles, are a pair of oval-shaped organs that are located in the scrotum. The testes are, are responsible for producing sperm and hormones, including testosterone. Within the testes are seminiferous tubules, little squiggles coming in and out. This is the site of spermatogenesis. It is also important to know that Sertoli cells here help nourish the young sperm. It is also the beginning of our acronym to help remember the pathway of male anatomy. The sperm will then move to the epididymis, the second part. The epididymis is long coiled tubes that is located behind each testicle. The epididymis is responsible for storing and transporting sperm. While in the epididymis, the sperm gain motility. The sperm will then move to the vas deferens. The vas deferens is a tube that carries the sperm from the epididymis through the ejaculatory duct to the urethra. The vas deferens also serve to help raise and lower the testes in response to heat. Next, we have the ejaculatory duct. This is where the sperm will move before it reaches the the nothing there is just to help us with the mnemonic, which you'll see in just one more. The urethra is simply a tube that carries urine and semen out of the body through the penis. Finally, after the urethra, we have the penis. The penis is a male sexual organ that is responsible for the transfer of sperm during sexual reproduction. The penis is made up of three parts, the shaft, the glands, and the foreskin. So here's the penis and shaft, the glands is the head, and the foreskin is this part covering the glands and going down. Now let's take a closer look at some of the supporting organs and structures. First, we have the seminal vesicles. The seminal vesicles are a pair of glands located near the prostate gland, right here in our diagram. They produce a fluid that is mixed with sperm to form semen during ejaculation. The fluid produced by the seminal vesicles contain a number of different substances, including fructose, which is a source of energy for the sperm, prostaglandins, which help activate the sperm, and other compounds that help to protect and nourish the sperm. The fluid produced by the seminal vesicle make up about 60 to 70% of the volume of semen. It is a thick, sticky fluid that helps to lubricate the urethra and facilitates the transport of sperm through the male reproductive tract. The fluid also helps to neutralize the acidity of the female reproductive tract, which can be harmful to sperm. The prostate gland is a small, muscular gland that is located just below the bladder. It also produces a basic fluid that helps to nourish and protect the sperm in the acidic environment of the female reproductive tract. The final structure to be aware of is known as the, bulbo, is known as the bulbourethral gland. These glands produce a viscous fluid that helps to clean out the urethra. In summary, the male reproductive system is made up of a number of different organs and structures that work together to produce, store, and transport sperm. Understanding the anatomy and functions of these organs is important for understanding the processes of sexual reproduction and fertility. Now you know everything about the male reproductive system that you need to do well on the MCAT. Thank you so much for watching our video on the male reproductive system, and I'll see you next time.